give it up for John Brennan. Thank you. Do I need both of these? Okay. How are y'all doing? So I'm here to talk about UTF Grid, which is software that makes my life a lot easier. Um, it makes interactive web maps with tons of data really fast. Uh, as Robert mentioned, I work for Xavier. We love advanced spatial analysis and the web. And I thought this slide was cool because I had to give a presentation in Chinese recently. So I have a friend who worked in GIS in the late 1900s. And he was writing advanced software at the time to uh, run raster calculations. Now, they didn't have the, the screens that could view the data very well. So what they did was plot out the results on a large format plotter. And each grid cell, instead of being represented as a block of color, was a letter. So it kind of looked like that. Kind of rudimentary, kind of hard to read, but we'll keep that concept for a minute. We've come a long way from that today and have developed a bunch of different problems. One of them is too much data. So I was working on a project uh, six months ago where we needed to uh, display county level data at a national scale with interactivity. There are over 3,000 counties in the US, and each of those have numerous vertices. It's a huge data set. But I opened up my normal toolbox, pulled out Leaflet, uploaded my data into CardoDB, pulled it down, a GeoJSON file from the SQL API, coded up all the interactivity, loaded the web page for the first time, and it was really, really slow. It took about 15 seconds to pull the data across the line, and then mousing over the polygons was just, it was painful. So I figured, OK, I'll remove vertices. I'll simplify the data, make the packet smaller, put conditionals in for different zoom levels to load different data. But it, it wasn't working. It was still really, really slow. So one of my colleagues suggested that I look into UTF Grid. Uh, UTF Grid is a specification map box put together a couple years ago. Um, it's also it's open source on GitHub. Um, and uh, it's, it's pretty amazing. It, it does away with vector overlays on these maps and just uses rasters and this. It goes back to a JSON file of UTF-8 characters, of which there are plenty for one tile. So uh, the, the tile, the way it's, it, it clusters it into basically 64 by 64. So there, even if, if every uh, group of pixels had a different value, you have plenty of UTF characters to cover it. So no vectors. You have your raster base map tile. I don't know about Tasty Cake Airport. <laughs> you have a transparent data overlay. And this is for a, a different project. It was an election that happened in Philadelphia in April. And there are also uh, thousands of divisions. So you get the, yeah, the, the base map tile, the data overlay, and then this is a sample of the UTF grid for that tile. Pretty cool. And so each of those UTF characters are associated with a data attribute that you specify when you call it. So what I did for uh, that particular map was take the uh, UTF character associated with the geo ID of the data set that I was using, and then uh, with a little fancy jQuery that I got help from developers from, uh, tied it into this interactive map. So as you hover, uh, data changes an associated table, and it's super fast. And I have some JavaScript stuff that I'm just going to zip through. Maybe we'll make this presentation available, and you guys can look at it. Um, 
But this is uh, the map, and I'm going to see if I can. I hope this works. Show you guys how crazy fast it is. Look how crazy fast it is. Super fast. So my time is up. So thank you for listening. I hope UTF Grid helps you out. And we are hiring software developers. So it's a fun place to work. Thanks.